let's take a look at absolute value expression some more. And more specifically, we're looking at expression analysis. This expression is a little bit more complicated than what we've done before because it has two separate absolute value parts. So we have to look at it a little bit differently. Some of it is still the same. Uh, the first part I'm going to show you is going to look very much like sign analysis, but the ending is a little bit different. So let's start off with, let's figure out where each of these parts equals 0. Now, 3x minus 9, that equals 0 when x equals 3. Now we go 3x minus 9 equals 0 at x equals 3. Over on the right-hand side one, this one is going to equal 0 whenever x equals minus 2. So once I've got that, now I can start just like we would do in sign analysis. We're going to look at the 3x minus 9 part and the x plus 2 part. I'll do my number line. I know something is happening at minus 2, something is happening at 3. Start filling in our parts. 3x minus 9 is 0 at 3, so I'm going to put a 0 there. Anytime I'm less than 3, or when anytime x is less than 3, my whole expression is going to be negative. And because it's negative, and we have an absolute value, we're going to end up having to turn it into a positive. And anytime x is greater than 3, it's going to be positive, and all is good. I do the same thing with x plus 2, it equals 0 at minus 2. On the left-hand side, it's going to have a negative answer. On the right-hand side, it's going to be a positive answer. This is where my similarity to uh, sign analysis changes. We don't go and multiply these together. In the old sign analysis, you would have taken this negative and this negative, multiplied it together to give you a positive. Well, we're not multiplying. We're adding or possibly subtracting, all depending on which question you're doing. So we have to treat it a little bit differently. We have three sections. We'll call this one section A. And that goes all the way from negative infinity up to minus 2. We've got section B, which goes from minus 2 up to 3. And we've got this last section, we're going to call it section C, which goes all the way up from 3 to positive infinity. And we're going to have to do each of those sections separately. So if I look at section A, which goes from the interval minus 8 to minus 2, I look at 3x minus 9, that's a negative. So I would have to flip that, I'll put a negative in front of that. And, there's a plus in the original equation, and x minus 2 is also a negative. So I'm going to have a negative x plus 2. So I have to rewrite that now. Uh, let's multiply our signs out. We end up with minus 3x plus 9. Plus times a negative is a negative. We end up with negative x negative 2. I can collect all my like terms. I've got minus 4x plus 7. So my equation on the interval from all the way from negative infinity up to minus 2 is going to be minus 4x plus 7. I have to do this for each piece. Let's go for section B, which is the interval from minus 2 to 3. Now from minus 2 to 3, 3x minus 9 is still negative. Like if you look right here, 3x minus 9 is still negative, so I have I have to flip it. I've got my plus from the original equation, but x plus 2 is positive, so I can just leave that the way it was. Multiply it out, collect all my like terms. I've got minus 3x plus 9 plus x plus 2. I end up with minus 2x plus 11. So from in this interval, from minus 2 to 3, my equation is minus 2x plus 11. And lastly, we're going to do section C, which gives me, from the interval, from 3 to infinity, 
Now, if I look from 3 to infinity, they're both positive. None of them are going to be a, a negative number. So I can just rewrite it as 3x minus 9 plus x plus 2. I don't have to take the opposite sign of any of them. And I just collect my like terms, which end is 4x minus 7. So in that interval, that's what the equation equals. The final step now is to put it all together. So our original question was 3x minus 9 plus x plus 2. So now if I rewrite it, I've got my three parts. The first part was minus 4x plus 7. 4. Anytime x is an element of going from negative infinity to minus 2, we had minus 2x plus 11 for any time x was in between oops, minus 2 all the way up to 3. And the last part of the equation was 4x minus 7 for any times x is an element of nowhere from 3 to infinity. And now we have rewritten that equation without using absolute value signs. And as you look at it, because we had three regions where three different things were happening because of the absolute values, we had to write it in three parts.